Canon R5. A Canon R5. My first time shooting AK RAW with the R5. So while it's not my first time uh, filming or editing raw footage, it is my first time editing or shooting 8K raw footage. I was thinking about getting rid of this guy. Um, I'd used it for work. I'd use it for personal stuff, and um, I found that like AK, I never really needed it. Never really used it. My biggest issue with this camera are the controls. Well, the build quality, I'll be honest, it feels a little cheap. It's really the usability, the customization. The, the, there's like no real custom buttons. It's really good for photography and you can just get off shots. If you're like a hybrid shooter, yeah, it's got the quick switch for video and photo, that's fine. But where's the customization? Even the stuff you can customize the buttons is it's completely useless. Like, what, what the hell are these options? Um, even the Instagram won't hang around. I don't know why. I was like, you know, the 8K thing, fine, I'll give that a shot before I let this camera go. And I'm glad I did. Totally changed my opinion on this camera, it's, especially if you like to go out and shoot videos and photos for yourself if you're doing stuff like this. But you're not going to use this for pro work and you know shoot documentaries with it it's going to be just incredible b-roll resolve does have the best tools for color grading it has the best tools for getting exactly the look that you want it definitely gives you a little bit more uh ability than final cut pro final cut pro on mac is just uh, butter and it's super fast it's easy it's simple um doesn't take that long to get into and if you you've been using for a long time it just it, it, you get your work done fast. So what I love about shooting photos, the RAW, the AK RAW, because it also gives you the ability to crop in and reframe and you can stabilize the hell out of it in post. Well, not that much. But anyway, it, it, the thing that I love about editing RAW photos, this brings it over to video. I love shooting and editing photos. But this is, this is a lot of fun. Having to denoise and having to sharpen it all yourself sounds like more work. It is, but you get much, much closer to what you, what you saw or what you wanted to communicate through what you've shot. I like the kind of the, the overall warm color temperature of, of the look that I got. Uh, it doesn't really match the Kodak stock. That's a that's a tall order to match any type of film stock in, you know, going in and doing your resolve. That's a very, that's a long-term project. It's a labor of love and it's a big deal when you accomplish that. I don't think I accomplished that. I'm not going to even pretend like I did, but I like the feeling that I got out of the final product. So my love-hate uh, relationship with the R5 continues. Um, I wish it had the usability and the exposure tools and the customization that the Panasonic S1 does. I'm going to do a ton of videos about the Panasonic S1 as well. Probably my favorite camera uh, ever made. They know how you're going to use it before you know how you're going to use it. It's such a good camera and it's an incredible experience. Um, so I've got a huge backlog of footage uh, that I shot with this, that I shot with the S1. And I did a comparison uh, and I'm going, to, I'm going to start putting that stuff out. It's just that I don't have the time lately. but. You know, keep watching. Uh, I plan to hang around. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this. Because, uh, uh, man, I just I love photography. The video seems to be very, very necessary these days. Um, so we'll, we'll see how it shapes up. See you on the next one.